Hey everyone, I'm Tom from Sleep Foundation. Our test lab reviews hundreds of products to help you get a good night's sleep. But occasionally we like to go behind the scenes and talk to manufacturers about how their products are made, and most importantly, why their products are made. Today we're talking with Adam Tishman, one of the founders and CEOs of Helix Mattress. Helix is one of the biggest direct-to-consumer mattress brands in the market, and they sell a variety of mattresses and mattress accessories. We wanted to learn more from Adam about how he and his partners founded the company, how they design their beds, and what's next for Helix. Let's take a listen. Well, man, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's start just by talking about your company. How did your company start? And you know, what was your motivation to start, of all things, a mattress company? Yeah, you know, it's funny to think back on what our motivations were to, to start a mattress company. We don't, neither myself nor the, the two co-founders, um, come from a traditional mattress or, or furniture background. Uh, the business really started out of need. So the three of us met in business school, moved to a new city, and had to, for the first time in probably 10 years, go through the process of, of buying a new mattress. It was uniquely bad in, in different ways for each of us, whether it was really expensive at retail, uh, really confusing online, or sort of there were some options out there where there was only a single option, which didn't feel like it could sort of be expansive enough for, for each of us. And so um, did a little bit of research, talked to more of our classmates, realized this was really commonly held. You know, when we looked at the mattress category, we sort of saw three, three main issues with buying these types of products. The first is just really high price points at retail. The second was really around the in-store buying experience, which to say the least, wasn't, wasn't great, let's say. You know, routinely rated poorly. We actually saw a statistic that people prefer going to the dentist than buying a mattress at retail. Okay. Yeah, it was wild. And so, you know, by going direct to consumer, by offering great customer experience, free shipping, 100 night trial, et cetera, could we offer more value? But where we really wanted to differentiate was on the product experience. So consumers were going into stores and it was really unclear what you were buying and why you were buying it. People are not necessarily mattress experts. It's really opaque and hard to understand. And so what a lot of the online competitors in our space really went at was let's offer a single solution to try to solve this problem of, of product confusion. And from our opinion, that does a disservice to the customer. Um, we just believe there's a wide range of needs and preferences as you know, in, in terms of the way you sleep. The question for us was, could we add a more custom solution to the sleep category essentially? What kind of you know, market data did you, did you have about your customers? Or you know, if you had to sort of create like a composite sketch of who you were trying to sell a mattress to, what, what, how, what was the answer to that question for you guys? So you know, data is just super core to everything we do, whether that data is sort of secondary market data, pre-purchase lead behavior data, and of course, um, post-purchase product satisfaction data. One of the nice things about our model is that our sleep quiz allows for us to be really granular and specific in the data we collect. Um, this allows us to improve our products and our algorithm at a really nuanced level that we believe is a competitive advantage. And, you know, in terms of customer, what's, what's really funny is like, you know, mattresses are such a mass market product, right? Everyone or close to everyone is sleeping on a mattress. When we launched the business, we thought our typical customer would be someone much younger, say sort of mid, low to mid 20s. Um, and we're really seeing that while we sell mattresses, you know, pretty much daily from people as young as 18 to as old as 80 plus, um, our core demographic is, is definitely older than that. You know, people in their late 20s through 30s and, and early 40s is sort of the core um, online buyer now. Why do you think that is? I think earlier on, the, the early adopters to feeling comfortable buying these products online were people that were younger, people a little bit more digitally native. Um, and what we found is that it's just becoming more normalized among an older set of customers. And, you know, it, you know, older being 30s, 40s, 50s, et cetera. Part of that is just the value that is being offered by companies like Helix. It's just undeniable. And, you know, I think the pandemic has certainly accelerated people's feeling okay buying these products online as well. I, I had this brief moment of thinking, like, when I was in my early 20s, I didn't really care where or what I slept on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so it's probably not until you get to your late 20s, early 30s that you begin to actually become more aware of, like, oh, yeah, this makes a difference. A hundred percent. I think that's definitely true. I think, you know, we, we believe we're selling a premium product at, a, at an approachable price point. A lot of people in their young 20s are sort of inheriting a mattress or buying something super cheap. It, you're right. It's sort of this inflection point when you reach an age and you're like, wait a minute, sleep is such a vital, important part of my life. Like I, I, I need to invest in the products that I'm sleeping on. That's great. 
That's great. Um, what's next for Helix? Like, what is, how do you guys intend to grow and kind of what, what do you have, uh, or where do you see as the next step for Helix as a company? You know, when we think of the next step for Helix, it's really staying true to the core sort of ethos of the company, which is designing and providing products that work for specific types of consumers. Um, and those products are meant to solve problems that are on the product side. So actually products that are best for you and also on the buying side, which is it's, it's confusing, it's frustrating, et cetera. Great. Well, Adam, thanks again for your time, man. I really appreciate it. No, I appreciate the time. I also, I love the, uh, your, your background is better than mine because you, you, you have all the foam, the, all the foams behind you. So yeah, take care. <laughs>